Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on our Android TV Box buying guide and today we are going to discuss a little bit here what we can do with an Android TV Box and for you that are over there and you and you and you that are thinking hey Robert this is too basic it is not. I do get a lot of these questions and for you that are there at the end, you were one of those that asked the question because if we think uh, it's the basic for us that are used to the Android TV boxes experience but for someone that never heard of anything like this and then someone suggests, hey, why don't you get an Android TV box? And he says, what is that? So it's a fair question. Now guys, the most accurate answer or the best answer that I usually give on this scenario is that if you already have used a Android phone or a Android tablet, then basically what we can do is exactly the same that we do with a phone or a tablet, but in this particular case will be on the box transmitted to our TV. So we will have a big screen uh, using our Android experience. Now this is a very simplistic way to explain what we can do with an Android TV box. I'll give some examples in a few moments, but for those of you that are completely new, basically this is it. Just uh, grab an Android phone or a tablet and imagine that if you had uh, what you have on a tablet, and I don't have one right now, I've, I've got one right over here. Uh, if you have uh, a tablet on your uh, and let me close this camera. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if you have your tablet or your phone, just imagine that you can do exactly what we have here, or very similar, but on your big screen TV. So this is the potential, we can do a lot. Now, let me start by giving you a, an example, which is the uh, Play Store. If we open the Play Store, we have millions of applications that we can install on our tablet, on our phone, or on our Android TV box. And just have in mind the previous video that we uh, shared which was Android TV OS versus pure Android. Now I'm talking about pure Android which will give us access to the full Play Store and once we have that access then we can install any app that we want. I'll give you guys a few examples but feel free to leave down below on the comment section the apps that you guys use on and on your Android TV boxes and hopefully uh, probably we can get another video with some of the comments that we get on this one. Now starting with some of the apps that I use um, we can read our emails, we can use, for example, a really simple thing which is Facebook and let's imagine just for a second that you are on your living room and instead of looking at a small screen such as this one, you want to watch uh, Facebook, the videos and the pictures of your friends on your big screen TV. That is awesome. You can do that. Of course, probably uh, your wife or your husband, your kids and so on and so forth will not enjoy the experience. But the freedom to be able to do it is just great instead of using a small screen such as this one. But if you prefer to use a small screen for privacy, I can also understand that. Now, this was just one example, but the apps that I use mostly is Kodi, for example, also Netflix, Plex, YouTube, that are those kind of apps that are really targeted at the TV experience and those are really great to use but we can also do something which is to play games. Now those games that you are used to play on your Android phone which actually Android games have come a long way since the beginning at this moment I can actually enjoy some games and my kid loves them on the uh, TV experience that feels like a console with actually really nice graphics. So this is one of the things that you can uh, do and if you use a gamepad as I've shown here on the channel and I will leave some links down below then the experience feels really like a console uh, to play these Android games which some of them are really really nice. And of course one of the advantages here of using an Android TV box as a gaming console which is something completely different is that most of the games uh, fortunately are 
free to play so of course there are ads and things like that but they are free to play so if you have kids at home and you want to get a cheaper solution of a console of course it is limited to the Android gamings and we will talk about just uh, in a few seconds of another type of gaming but we are limited to this this kind of Android gaming which is limited but in my opinion great and especially if we have in consideration that it's free. Now, I was talking in just a few seconds ago about gaming and I would like to add something here, which is the ability to game stream. And I've also covered this on uh, previous videos. Once again, I will leave some links down below. If I forget, as usual, guys, remind me and I will post the links there. But the question is that on a little device such as this one, I can place on the living room, for example, and then have my computer on the office and if I press the start uh, button on the software that I use on my Android TV box I can actually play a game on the TV that it's actually being pushed by my PC on the office and this is one of the things those that follow the channel know that I love to do this because it is, it is just a huge potential there is a small device on the living room that it's able to play the games or to stream the games from the PC that it's somewhere else only thing that we need is a network connection by the way a strong network connection and that's it so as you guys can see there are a lot a lot of situations that we can use one more that I could add here is to browse the web especially if we use a, a wireless remote which will give us the sensation of touching the screen of a tablet but in this particular case we will be touching the screen of a TV and we can browse the web we can search around and so on and so forth on a big screen TV so uh, basically this is the way that I use my Android TV boxes but of course depending on the individual that we are depending on the apps that we love to use I would really love to hear some of the apps that you guys use your favorite apps and so on and so forth and uh, for those of you that are new to this world hopefully this video in particular will uh, help you to have a better notion of what we can do with an Android TV box and that is it guys hopefully it was useful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs thumbs up if it wasn't then the thumbs down <laughs> that will be okay my name is Alberto George and as always guys I'll see you on the next one